Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Atomic Radius of Halogens. So halogens are in the periodic table, and they are the set of elements in which the valence shell of electrons is missing just one electron before they can be considered inert gases, or the noble elements. So, to that end, we have a column right before the noble elements, and this column right here represents the halogens. And there are multiple definitions for the atomic radius or size of these halogens, but one definition that is considered is when one considers diatomic molecules for a given species, and the average distance or radius is given as just half of the distance between the two atoms. So these can be experimentally determined using the halogens with certain experiments. And we'll start with fluorine 9, where 9 represents the number of protons in the nucleus, hence it's its nuclear number in the periodic uh, table of elements. And it has a size of approximately 71 picometers, where a picometer, one picometer, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. Very, very small. It's a thousandth of a nanometer. Next on the list, going down or increasing in mass along the periodic table, we have chlorine, which has element number 17, and its atomic radius is approximately 99 picometers. Next, we have bromine, which has element number 35, and it has an atomic radius of approximately 114 picometers. Next, we have iodine, or iodine, with element number 53. It has an atomic radius of 133 picometers. Then we have astatine, 85, and its atomic radius is approximately 150 picometers. And finally, there's a synthetic element that was discovered in several in the recent past, and it's known as Unanceptium, or UUS for short, and it is number 117 in the periodic table, meaning it has 117 protons in its nucleus. And through experimental data, one can extrapolate an approximate atomic radius of 156 picometers. So we see that there is a trend that as the mass of the nucleus increases, as we go down the column of halogens in the periodic table, this atomic radius, this atomic size, will increase. And this is due to the fact that you have an increase in the energy level for the electron configurations for all of these elements when they are not ionized, when they are neutral. And because of that, there's going to be generally an increase in the radius, in the atomic size. You have more electrons and they're repelling each other. And so you have more shells being occupied and more energy levels means that you will have, on average, a larger atomic radius. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Atomic Radius of Halogens.